So in this video, I want to talk about the gangs that are related to the Kanika Jenkins case. Some gangs that we haven't even considered are connected to the Kanika Jenkins case and the connection that they could possibly have with Mexican cartels. Um, I'll pay attention to who works in that hotel. We've forgotten to even consider if any of these people are in gangs, okay? We've looked at the Vice Lords, uh, Gangster Disciples, which I'm also going to talk about, and I'm going to connect all of the dots, and it links back to Mexican cartels. And trust me, the CIA have in the past been proven to be working with Mexican cartels. It's a known fact. Um, they do now. Okay? So we're going to link all the dots, okay? The FBI doesn't want to get involved. The FBI has also been known to work with Mexican cartels. Okay? This is about making money. And they will make money however they can. If a hotel is being used, they can make money however they can. And they will, trust me. And when I go into this you will understand further. So I'm going to start off with just quickly explaining a little bit about the gangs. <clears throat> I know a lot of the people watching might know a lot about these gangs, but what I want to do is I want to explain everything and tie it all in. Okay, so what I want to say is the gangster disciples are under folks nation. Vice lords are under people's nation. <clears throat> They're rivals. They've been known in the past to have very vicious confrontations with each other on the streets and within jails. I have evidence of this. From as far as I know, they don't like each other. They can't stand each other. As far as I have researched, as far as I can find. We have GDs and vice lords and travelling vice lords, which are the biggest within this party, so they, as far as I know, they hate each other, you know, there was a, um, an incident in a, in a prison, where they had some very vicious confrontations, um, and that did spill out onto the streets, whenever I type in who their rivals are, Vice Lord's biggest rival is Gangster Disciples, it's like, I don't understand that connection when they say everyone's cool and they're throwing up all these gang signs in a party like other YouTubers have mentioned. I don't know if I, be, it, 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 to me, it is looking dangerous right now when it comes to gang affiliation. Okay, there are, you know, reports about crimes they committed against each other. You know, they've, they've completely like, <laughs> torn through each other, murdered loads of each other gang, each other's gang members, so that isn't running with me right now, and remember, when I'm talking about this, there are many gangs within Fox Nation, there are many gangs within People's Nation, and the two that are, have been shown to be the most aggressive towards each other are Gangster Disciples and Vice Lords, remember that, Within People's Nation, you have the Latin Kings. And you also have Spanish Vice Lords. Nobody has questioned anybody who works within that hotel if they have any ties to any gang members. Now, when I was doing my research about Vice Lords, I didn't come across a story of a vice lord from the west side of Chicago, which is where a lot of these party members came from. He is the reason for El Chapo, believe it or not, being in jail. It was a vice lord. They had a case on the vice lords in the west side of Chicago. They caught this guy doing a drug deal and it led back to El Chapo and he got caught from a vice lord. It, he wasn't intentional but they used, they found him. 
so the vice lords have connections to, in some way, to a, a Mexican cartel. Okay? Latin kings have been known to have transactions with the Mexican cartels. This is a big issue in America, but what is the government and the CIA and the FBI have been known to use it to make money for themselves also. They've infiltrated it. And in some ways, people believe they control it more than the Mexican cartels. If the CIA are corrupt, if the FBI are corrupt, you really think Rosemont police aren't corrupt? With everything that's happened, everything you've seen in the past, them abusing people in their police stations and taking their authority as a um, a way of taking advantage of, of people because of the what it looks to be, in most cases, the colour of their skin, okay? Do you really think that they're not going to do these things if the CIA are doing it, if the FBI are doing it? Why do you think the FBI don't want to get involved? I don't know why I have this feeling, but there is something else other than the death of Kanika that's going on in this hotel. And it's known by the vice lords. It's known by the gangster disciples that, by the way, hate each other. Okay, they hate each other. In two different affiliates with two different sets of people. Okay, the vice lords link back to El Chapo. Most of the people that work in this hotel are either of some type of Spanish Latino descent. And you're telling me not one of them has links with any uh, um, Spanish vice lords or Latin kings. To me, I don't think so. And that security guard leaving after four days after being questioned. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You heard how he spoke. That's why I put that um, <clears throat> recording up of him speaking. I wasn't saying he was saying anything. I just wanted you to hear. And to me, he sounds streetwise. To a certain extent, he sounds streetwise. Okay? These people um, uh, have people that infiltrate the police, infiltrate the army, security services, okay? And workers in different places, different workers, cashiers, cooks, whatever, whoever they can put in place to get their business running, their drug money going, this is what I mean by they were smart with how they do their work. They make it look like a normal business, like this is what they do. And they use that position to gain what they want. Okay? This is what they do. No one's questioned anybody in this hotel. And it could have such a big link back to Kanika Jenkins. They were doing fraud at the front desk. They took the cards in to the hotel. My belief is that that cashier knew. They went to him because he said, I can do it for you. Okay? And that could just be a small piece of the pie. Do you understand? That small piece. Like I said, this vice lord is the reason why El Chapo was caught. What if this, these little things that we see, link back to Kanika's death? Okay?